guys, what's up? Welcome back. Today we are doing number 35 of the MDTP calculus readiness test. So the question says, the equation for the magnitude m of an earthquake is m equals log of i over k, where i is the intensity of the earthquake and k is a constant. The magnitude of a 1995 earthquake was 9, and the magnitude of a 2004 earthquake was 7. Which of the following compares the intensity of the 1999 earthquake with the intensity of the 2004 earthquake? Sorry, I kind of skipped some words there, but you got the you got the idea. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do in this question in this question is set up two separate equations: one for the 1995 earthquake and one for the 2004 earthquake. So. For the 1995 earthquake, we know there's a magnitude of 9. I'll go ahead and underline that. And for the 2004 earthquake, we know there was a magnitude of 7. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just plug in those two pieces of information into our equation. So for the 1995 one, I'm going to have 9 is equal to log of I sub 1995 over K. Okay, and now for my second one, I'm going to have 7 is equal to log of I sub 2004 over K. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to have to write this in exponential form. So if you remember how to do that, there is an imaginary base 10 here. So if you ever have a log and you don't see a base, it's always assumed that it's a 10. So, and another, I guess, tip or trick is to remember when you say log base 9, that's kind of a hint or a reminder that this 10 is going to become the base once you write this in exponent form. So what I mean by that is this 10 becomes the base here, this becomes the exponent, and this is equal to what's ever in these parentheses here. So that equals I sub 1995 over K. And I'm going to use green for K. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but that's just a reminder that the K's are going to be the same. Because if you remember from the problem, it says K is a constant. So now let's go ahead and do this that same step for this second equation. So again, there's an imaginary base 10. That 10 is going to become the base of the exponent. This is going to become the exponent itself. And that's going to be equal to what's in these parentheses here. So I sub 2004 over K. There we go. So now that we have our equations set up, let's go ahead and just take a moment to remember what the question is asking us. So the question is asking us to compare the two intensities of the two separate years. So when you look at our equations, we're actually in a really good position because we have two different equations and essentially just one variable. We do have this k, which is technically a variable, but we're in a good position since it's the same in both cases. So what I'm going to want to do in this case, or what would come to mind, is I would want to solve this for k and solve this one for k so that we can use substitution to end up showing the relationship between the two intensities. So let me walk through that so I can show you what I mean by that. So if we solve this one for k, um, I actually just use a little shortcut because if you just imagine, if you were to solve this for k, you would have to multiply k on both sides. So you would have a k here, right? But then you would have to divide by this 10 to the 9th. So this 10 to the 9th would end up just coming down on the bottom here. So my little shortcut is whenever I'm in this situation is I literally just flip these two numbers. So I'll draw a little arrow. So I just flip those two. So that being said, this will become k is equal to i 1995 over 10 to the 9th. Now let's go ahead and do that same thing over here. So again, I'm just going to flip these two numbers and I'm going to get K is equal to I sub 2004 over 10 to the 7. 
So now that I have these two equations and I have this constant k, I can just substitute this in for this k. Because remember, k is equal to this, so it's perfectly fine to plug it in. So I'm going to take this and substitute it in here for k. So this new line is going to be i sub 1995 over 10 to the 9th is equal to i sub 2004 over 10 to the 7th. So now, just looking at the answer choices, since these are all the intensity of 1995 equals, I'm going to go ahead and isolate this variable next. So in order to do that, I need to multiply both sides by this denominator by 10 to the 9th. So that's going to give me i of 1995 is equal to 10 to the 9th times i 2004 over 10 to the 7th. So at this point, it's really just reducing. So if you remember, whenever you have a... Um, a common base in the numerator and the denominator and you have it to a power or to an exponent in order to figure out what that is or to simplify it you subtract the exponents so in this case since we have this 10 to the 9th and the 10 to the 7th we can reduce that by subtracting the exponents 9 minus 7 is 2 so that's going to give us a i'm going to write this in orange since this is going to be close to our answer that's going to give us a 10 to the second power times i to the 2004 and just one further step just to simplify this is 10 to the second power is just 10 times 10 which is 100 so this equals 100 i to the 2004 so now we have finally we're done and we have this the intensity of 1995 is equal to 100 times the intensity of the 2004 earthquake all right, well, oh, and then let's go ahead and check our answer choices. Yep, that here is answer choice A right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and box this answer. There we go. Okay, perfect. All right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did find this video helpful, please remember to like and subscribe. And if you have any content requests or feedback, please feel free to email me. My email will be in the description box below. All right, I'll see you guys next time.